Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've done a YouTube video like this, but I've just finished a training for our in-house appointment setters that are booking meetings for our clients, but also for our own e-commerce agency. Now I'm gonna show you the seven minute video that we are using to train our appointment setters. So if you own an e-commerce marketing agency, or you're trying to serve online brands and you're struggling to find leads, this video is gonna help you out tremendously. Okay, so I want you just to sit back and watch this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. One thing I want to point out is the lead list we're using. We scrape from storeleads.app. We pay about $250 a month to acquire this database. So I'll also leave the link in the description down below. If you have any questions, let me know and enjoy the video. Okay, so an e-commerce brand. If you think of, you know what Amazon is, right? The business, yep. Amazon. So they're essentially an e-commerce business because they sell physical goods online, right? So you could you could buy uh, your skincare, you could buy gym equipment, you can buy clothes, you can buy any physical product you can buy online, which then you know you get gets shipped to your door. That's what an e-commerce business is, right? All right? So we're looking for smaller businesses that are you know making about hundred thousand dollars a month, fifty to hundred thousand plus dollars a month that are selling physical products, okay? So famous e-commerce brands are, you know, like Gucci is a really famous uh, brand, right? Versace, yeah. they're brands that everyone knows. So we're looking for smaller businesses that operate similar to them. So the actual category, you know, you could have like uh, gifts, you could have pets, pet food, pet toys, you could have uh, garden equipment, you can have shoes, you could have, you know, anything like that, anything physical that you can buy online, right? right? Does that make sense? Yep. So that's what we're trying to achieve here. We're trying to reach out to those types of brands. So we go on this one as an example, right? So we can see here estimated monthly sales. So we know that these brands on this list, I mean, there's a lot of them, right? 150,000 of them. We know that there's a lot of brands on, the, on this list that we're trying to reach out to, okay? So in order to do that, we wanna to go to their Instagram and we wanna reach out to them. So even though this brand doesn't have very many followers, we know that they sell a lot of products, which is the main criteria. So when we're going through this list, we're looking for obviously brands that fit that criteria of how much monthly sales they have, okay? Does that, does that make sense? Yes, James. Okay, so what your job to do is to find a brand and make sure that it's actually a brand because it's going to be some of some of these Instagram URLs won't actually be brands, you know, of what we're trying to reach out to. So this is a Twitter page for a game. This is not an e-commerce brand, right? This, this, these guys are selling a game and the game is also free by the looks of things. You can see a free game. So this is a bad lead. We don't want to reach out to these ones, okay? All right. So again, we're going down big dog chains. So these guys obviously sell dog chains. So these will be a good brand, right? Yep. Um, one of the other main criteria is that they have a website URL because we want to be coming onto their Instagram and we want to be checking their website to make sure it's actually a functioning web website. So you can see here that, yeah, it works. They're actually selling, you know, chains. They have, they're in um, dollars, which is a good sign and everything looks good. So this will be a good brand to reach out to, right? So keep coming down. We've got another one here, Not and Bow. So these guys, again, they have a link. This looks like they might sell like gifts or gift wraps. I'm not 100% sure. We can click on the link, okay? So what as well is if you have like a LinkedIn.bio or Linktree, you want to click on the link and then go to the actual website, okay? And you can see here, so they sell like party stuff, like handcraft party stuff. So this is a good brand because, right. do you know what I'm trying to say? Does this make sense to you? If it yes, does, question. just ask questions now, please. Um, again, go down. So these guys are selling organic coffee, which is still a brand. Again, they've got a Linktree link. So we click on the link and we want to go to their actual brand. So shop coffee. Um, da, da, da. so they're a New Zealand based brand. Cool. So they're selling coffee. This could be quite a good, a good one to reach out to. So again, that's a good brand going down to this one. Uh, click on this one here. So they're selling barbecue seasoning sauces and accessories. Interesting. Called jerky.com. It's an interesting. I'm seeing from like this before. Uh, so Cosmo Q barbecue. I wonder if this is more like an affiliation page. But yeah, it's still a good brand. They've got a lot of followers. Uh, they've got a legit website. They're actually selling stuff. Um, you know, you come to here and be like best sellers. So I think they might even be selling food as well. So if we go to best sellers. Let it load. Okay, no, they're just selling like the source packets and stuff. Still a good brand, right? Yep. So it's so um, question, James. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, as long as they have like a bio link on their Instagram, uh, that would be a, a, a good lead as long as they are selling, right? Yeah, as long as they have a website and they're actually selling a physical product, because there'll be some in here which aren't actually selling anything physical. So this one here, I wouldn't necessarily reach out to. We can, but I want to stay away from verified pages, okay? Yep. Because if a page is verified, it normally means they have like they're a very large business and they probably already have an in-house marketing team. So it'd be a waste of time, okay? All right. So yeah, we'll keep going down. We've got Flipsy Tech. So these guys, 
they're selling, I can't really work it out from here. So go into here, go into a link account. Okay, so selling like skateboard kit by the looks of it, right? So again, still a brand, still good. Um, obviously some of these aren't always gonna be perfect. So if you come to a brand, this is actually quite a good brand. They've got a lot of followers, they're like a beauty brand. So we find like a bigger brand. So if I go down, let's find someone which is, I did an example earlier, so let me try and find, essentially, uh, let's try and find a good example. So we can use the other ones anyway. So if you obviously come across a brand like this, we don't always wanna be using this list, right? We actually wanna try and stay away from the list as best we can. So if you come to like a brand like this, for example, and you work out that they're actually a good brand, this actually doesn't look like a good brand. It looks more like a, a travel page, right? Yes. It's not a brand. They're not, I mean, they do sell some stuff, but again, nothing we really want to get involved with. You can see here, it's, it's um, you're selling about the world. It's people. They're not, they're not promoting any physical product here, right? Yep. So I'd stay away from those. But for Halo Beauty, for example, they are promoting physical products, which is great. Okay. So with these guys and you come across, okay, this is a good brand. If you click on this drop down menu, it will show you a suggested brands or suggested pages similar to this one. So this is a great opportunity to actually find other brands. So the criteria we're looking for is we don't want to click on a person like Jessica here. We want to find a brand that isn't verified on this list. So Profusion is a good one. Nice. Ace Beauty is a good one. Uh, no Twins. Uh, Girl Attic could be a good one. Uh, Sydney Gray. So Globe by Auric could be a good one. Again, okay, does this make sense? So again, we've just kind of bunny hopped off one of the one of the pages from a list and we found you know four good brands by the looks of it which we can now reach out to, right? Yep, got it, James. So that's how we find the lead. So we use the list to find a good brand and then we bunny hop off that brand by clicking on the drop-down menu, clicking see all, and then just finding brands on this page that um, are available to us, okay? So again, another brand here, right? Yep. So it shouldn't take you very long as you can tell to find brands, like it should be really, really easy. Using, using the list and also using the technique given here, right? Yep. So, and that's pretty much it guys. As you can see, we're leveraging the qualified lead list and then finding solid brands that may be verified or have a lot of followers, and then using the drop down menu to find similar brands that may have less followers and more targeted for our offer. So you can also copy this for sure. You can train your own appointment setters, you can show your friends, you can show your colleagues, whatever you wanna do with this training, please share it far and wide, it helps me out. And if you can also hit subscribe, that'd be great. I'll be uploading more content like this to really give you actionable advice and steps that you can take to again, book more appointments and close more deals for your agency. Thanks guys.